Good morning and welcome to morning prayer for St. John's Lutheran Church of McGuanago for Wednesday, July 28th. Um, today is the last day of our synodical convention, but I thought I'd record this devotion uh, quickly in the morning here before it begins. Um, the convention, and I'll talk about this in the next couple of days, um, focusing uh, around the theme, um, Here We Still Stand, um, uh, taken from the 500th anniversary of Luther's defense at the Diet of Worms in 1521, uh, taking his stand, his conscience uh, bound captive to the word of God. Uh, that'll guide our devotion this morning. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. God is our refuge and our strength, an ever-present help in trouble. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Jesus invites you, come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. Keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you. To your hands I commend my body and soul and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the wicked foe may have no power over me. Amen. Specifically for our devotion this morning, I turn to Psalm 1. We sang a hymn version of it on um, Sunday here at St. John's, but a psalm that points us uh, to the blessing of God's word, of being in God's word. Blessed is the man who does not walk in the counsel of the wicked, nor stand in the way of sinners, nor sit in the seat of scoffers. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by streams of water that yields its fruit in season, and its leaf does not wither. In all that he does, he prospers. The wicked are not so, but are like chaff that the wind drives away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. Psalm 1 is a psalm of comfort. It's a comfort for those who find their way and their being, their life, grounded in the word of God. It is rich in imagery, just like trees planted by springs of water, grow and bring fruit and abundant fruit. I'm reminded of a property we used to visit for camping trips um, back in uh, mid-Michigan. And, and there was a steep embankment down um, to a river. And, and by that river were some of the strongest and biggest trees I've ever seen. So are, the, so are those who are planted in the Holy Word of God. God says that those who study his word, who are in his word, are like trees planted by streams of water, um, such as a strength for you spending these mornings or these afternoons whenever you find the time to do this, grounded in the word of God. This is a psalm that comes out of the third commandment, that Jesus knows the rest that we need and promises rest for us in his word. This is a commandment that is, uh, or a psalm rather, that is, that is connected to the Lord's Prayer. Um, especially, I think, of the second and third petitions. Thy kingdom come, Lord. Well, where's that kingdom going to come from other than God's gracious reign through his word? And thy will be done, Lord. And, and how is it that one learns to pray for God's will? Not my will be done, but the instruction that comes from God's word. God bless us. And this is not a chance for us to beat our chests and say, well, look how great we are and look how bad they are. But a psalm that points to the comfort of being grounded solely in the saving word of Christ, 
a saving word that um, was for the time of the Reformation, a saving word that is a blessing, uh, that our church body finds itself grounded in that, but most importantly this day, a saving word that is for you, we pray. Oh God, thanks and praise to you for your holy word. Enlighten us by your spirit to understand your counsel of grace in Jesus, to love your word, and to take delight in learning your word and your law for us. Give your blessing and prosperity on the works of our hands in our Christian calling and in all of our conversation this day and always. In the name of Jesus, amen. In the morning, O Lord, I call to you. Be merciful to me and hear my prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, the spirit to think and do what is right, that we who cannot do anything that is good without you may by your help be enabled to live according to your will. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us safely to this new day. Defend us with your mighty power and grant that this day we neither fall into sin nor run into any kind of danger. And in all we do, direct us to what is right in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.